Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know in order to get started with Midjourney. And by the end of this quick 10 minute guide, you'll be able to create stunning AI generated images that can be used on your WordPress blog or website. Now, real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this tutorial, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all the AI and WordPress trends that are happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, the first step in the process is to sign up for a Discord account because as of June 2023, Midjourney can only be accessed via Discord. So if you don't have a Discord account already, you can quickly sign up at their homepage. Just visit discord.com. It's free and I've linked to it in the video description below and they do have an app, but for this example, we'll be using their web client. This allows you to access Midjourney via your browser. So to create your free Discord account, click the login button in the upper right corner of the screen. Then on the login page, click on the register link located below the login form. And this will allow you to create a new Discord account. Again, pretty straightforward. You'll enter your email address, choose unique username for your Discord account, create a secure password, and enter your date of birth. Then once all that's filled out, go ahead and click the continue button. Next, you'll need to verify your email address. So click the verify by email button and Discord will send a verification email to the email address that you provided during signup. Then head over to that inbox and look for a verification email from Discord. It'll look something like this. Then all you'll do is click the verify email button and you should see a successful notification letting you know that your email has been verified. Then click the continue to Discord button and this will take you to your Discord web client where you can create and join Discord servers, which we'll do in a few moments. So you can go ahead and close this pop-up then the next step in the process is to connect your Discord account to Midjourney. So first things first, let's head over to the Midjourney homepage. I've linked to this in the video description below, but from here, you'll click the sign in button in the bottom right corner of the screen. And then you'll need to authorize the connection between Discord and Midjourney. So go ahead and click the authorize button. And then this will take you to your Midjourney account where you'll need to purchase a plan in order to continue using Midjourney. And as you can see, they have three subscription tiers. Each plan includes access to the Midjourney member gallery, the official Discord, general commercial usage terms, and much more. Additionally, each plan comes with various amounts of generations, which is basically the number of images you can produce. Then once you've decided on your plan and billing cycle, click the subscribe button, and you'll be taken to the checkout page where you'll enter your billing info. I gotta say that from my experience, $96 per year for this tool is a bargain. So either way, once you've filled this out, click the subscribe button and you'll have instant access to Midjourney's member benefits. All right, moving on next, let's join the Midjourney server and start creating images with AI. Okay, now the fun begins. Now we get to join the Midjourney server and work with AI to generate stunning images. And it's a pretty simple process. You just have to manually add the server to your Discord via this link provided by Midjourney. And I've added this link in the video description below, but you can also access it in the Midjourney Quick Start Guide, which is also linked in the video description below. But either way, go ahead and copy this link, then head over to Discord, and on the left-hand side of the screen, click the plus icon, and this will allow you to add a new server. Then a pop-up will appear, and we want to join a server, so click that button, and then you'll get another pop-up where you'll paste that Midjourney invite link that we copied a few moments ago in the field provided like so. Then click the Join Server button. And welcome to the Midjourney Discord server. This is where all the creative magic happens and it really is an amazing community that you get to be a part of. If you're brand new to all of this, it may seem confusing at first, but once you get the feel for where everything is and how things work, you'll be a pro in no time. And remember, if you want a deep dive on Discord and Midjourney, check out my other tutorial on YouTube. It's more in-depth and comprehensive. But either way, this is the Midjourney Discord server, and you can toggle between servers by clicking on the icons in your server list located on the left-hand side of the screen. And this is the Midjourney server icon, so whenever you have that selected, you'll be in the Midjourney server. Then anytime you want to generate an image, you'll do so through any of the newbie or general channels. Again, they'll be listed towards the left-hand side of the screen within the channel list. So let's visit the newbie 190 channel. 
And this is a public channel, meaning you'll see other prompts and images generated by whoever is currently in this channel. This is a great way to see what other people are creating, as well as gather ideas for prompts. And speaking of prompts, anytime you want to create an image, you'll do so through the message field located at the bottom of the screen. And the way it works essentially is that you'll input a prompt that consists of a command, description text, and parameters. For example, to create an image using a prompt, you'll first need to use the imagine command. And this is basically how you'll interact with Midjourney on Discord. Commands are used to create images, change default settings, monitor user info, and perform other helpful tasks. But again, right now, we're going to use the imagine command to create an image. So within the message field, to enter a command, you'll start with the forward slash followed by your command. Again, we want to use the imagine command, so type a forward slash followed by the word imagine, and then click enter on your keyboard. And now the prompt is ready for our descriptive text. So within the text box, I'm going to ask it to create an image of a sunny side up egg cooking on a frying pan. And there we go. Then click enter on your keyboard to send the prompt and the mid journey AI gets to work. Now, when you first send your prompt, it'll take a few seconds to start. As you can see, your prompt is waiting here within the channel to start. And one thing about these public channels is that many other people are using them at the same time. And as of June 2023, there are 15 million people that have joined the Midjourney server. Now, that doesn't mean they're all on here at the same time, but as you can see, other individuals are creating images in here, and it can get kind of hard to track your image as it's being created. But don't worry, though, there are ways around it. But for now, you'll have to scroll a bit within the channel to find your particular image generation. And there it is. Now, you'll notice that it's kind of blurry, but the quality of the images are directly aligned with the percentage of completion listed here. And you'll notice that the closer we get to 100%, the better quality of image the AI generates. Then once it reaches 100%, which usually only takes 60 seconds or so when using fast hours, the image will be posted at the front of the message thread. So within the public channels, you'll more than likely need to scroll to the bottom of the screen in order to see your fully generated images. And check that out. We now have our AI generated images of a sunny side up egg cooking in a frying pan. Now, one really cool thing about Midjourney is that it gives you four variations of your prompt. And you can take a closer look at them by clicking on the image itself within the channel. This enlarges the images, allowing you to take a closer look at what's been generated. How cool is that? These are unique, professional looking images that can be used on a blog, website, social channel, etc. They can even be used for commercial purposes. Possibilities are pretty extensive. Now, below each of the image grids, you'll see various buttons. The U1 through 4 buttons allow you to upscale each image, and upscale means you're just enlarging the image selected. Then the arrow icon allows you to create a whole new set of variations of the prompt. And then the V1 through 4 creates separate variations of a specific image within the grid. Additionally, each image within the grid is laid out in numerical order. The upper left is image 1. Directly next to that is image number 2. The bottom left corner is image number 3. And then finally, we have image number 4. So the idea here is that you'd click on the button that coordinates with the numbered image within the grid to either upscale it or create new variations of it. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to use parameters within the prompt to change things like the size of the image. So if we take a look at a new prompt, you'll see that I'm still using the imagine command followed by my descriptive text, but this time I have some parameters at the end of the prompt. And without getting into the weeds, parameters are options added to a prompt that change how an image generates. They're always added to the end of the prompt, and you can add multiple parameters to each prompt. So for this example, I'm going to add the aspect ratio inversion parameters. And the way you add a parameter is at the very end of the prompt, you'll type two dashes followed by the specific parameter. Again, I go into greater detail on parameters and how to use them in my other mid-journey tutorial, but either way, once you've added your prompt with parameters, click enter on your keyboard to send it to mid-journey. And then for the sake of time and for this example, I'm gonna speed through this really quick, but normally this process would take about 60 seconds to generate the images. And there we go. Then clicking on the image grid, you could take a closer look at the results. And you'll notice that the aspect ratio parameter has changed the shape of the images from a square to a rectangle. And then the version parameter is hard to distinguish right now, but by adding it to the prompt, we've ensured that we're using the most up-to-date version of Midjourney's algorithm when generating images. And that's how you use Midjourney to create stunning images for your WordPress blog. Simple, right? With a little practice, you'll be creating attention-grabbing visuals that make your posts stand out from the crowd in no time. 
And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember, engaging images are key to capturing your audience's attention and enhancing the overall readability of your blog. And if you have any questions or wanna see more content like this, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'm always happy to help out. And if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and share it with others who you think may benefit from it. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you have your WordPress site up and running, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll show you everything you need to know step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.